Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you my little thrift store haul. Not a big one, but some really cool things. I'm gonna resell on Poshmark. I found a few things brand new for Amazon as well, so let me show you what I got. Um, the first thing, I immediately went to the store. It's called Good Life Super Thrift. It's in Lake Worth, Florida, not too far from Palm Beach. So, you know, Palm Beach has all the good stuff, you know, where all the wealthy people live. So the first thing I found is this little Shopkins. It's like a toothbrush set, and it comes with a toothbrush and the timer and some floss. And I picked it up for, it was on sale for $1.50, and I got a whole bag of them. So they're selling, I think, currently about $9 on Amazon. Probably profit, I haven't done the exact calculation, but probably about three bucks on a $1.50 investment. Brand new, perfect condition, and I can sell this brand. Check with my Amazon app. So that is this right here. The next thing I got was this navy ribbed cardigan sweater, Tory Burch. It cost me $7.99, but the thing about Tory Burch is actually the buttons sometimes uh, you can sell for more money than you can the entire top or garment. So we're going to see. I don't know. I might either sell this and try it on Poshmark. If it doesn't sell, then I'll take the buttons off and sell them as replacement buttons on Etsy. I did look up some comps. Buttons are selling sometimes for $8, $10 per piece. Yes, per piece. Crazy, I know, right? Um, the next thing I had, I've got a few Tory Burch items, actually. This is a nice, really pretty lightweight open weave Tory Burch sweater. And yeah, I guess someone was getting loading off their Tory Burch items. This is also $7.99. It has a really pretty zipper in the front. And probably put this on Poshmark. Definitely uh, something that I would wear. So we'll check the size. <laughs> it's a small, hmm. Okay. So the next thing I got um, was this Lily Pulitzer. Now I do really well with Lily Pulitzer. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm in Florida, in Palm Beach. I have no idea, but it's a pretty halter top. This is the front and the back is open with a tie. And it's the typical bright Lily print. I'm not sure what pattern this is. I did spend, you know, 10 bucks on it, but I'm sure I can sell this for at least $30 on Poshmark. Okay that one. Another Tory Burch red, like a really pretty lipstick red sweater, cardigan sweater. Again, this one was only $5.99. And the buttons, the typical Tory Burch cross, whatever you call her logo. And that is it's really nice, actually, this sweater. Just has to be ironed. So again, I'll probably put it on Poshmark. And if it sells, great. If it doesn't, pop those buttons off so people can make jewelry with them. So I might just say replacement buttons and then put it next to the sweater. Now this uh, is my favorite. This is so cool. This reminds me, and I'm not kidding you, I wore this back in the 80s. Now, I this is like big time in style right now. I know it looks like some of you might be like, no way. But yeah, this is 80s, a little aerobic outfit. And it's a little, uh, what are these called, suspenders. And it's, it's tags on still. It's sold back then from $21 to $14.99, Jacques Moret. I remember it really well. And I'll probably sell this, honestly, this will be about a $50 item. Vintage, you know, it's considered vintage back in the 80s with tags and super, super in style. Hello, Jane Fonda. And the last piece is this gorgeous Giorgio Armani, okay? This is um, a beautiful linen blazer, and it has this little tiny bit of sequins running through it, so it adds this little shimmer to it. It really is um, a stunning jacket, and as you can see, it's just like shimmering in the light. It's so pretty. I did pay $15 for this, but I'm sure I can get you know, a nice... Um, Probably a nice little penny for this because it is in perfect condition. Um, so 
Are you a thrifter too? If you are, let me know in the comments. If you are a reseller, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And you know what? Remember, at the end of the day, you never know what you're going to find because these items I found at the very end of my trip. And I would have never found them if I would have just got my first few items and then left. Almost all of those designer items I found as soon as I was almost checking out. So remember that. You just never know when you're going to stumble on those gems. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.